Last night, we delved into ACDC's Back in Black record, uh, produced by Mutt Lang, engineered by Tony Platt. The biggest challenge for me going into this is the fact that there's no studio trickery to cover up anything. ACDC records are, are made in such a way where the guitars are most often the guitars that are being played. You have Angus on the right, in the right-hand speaker, Malcolm on the left-hand speaker. They typically will overdub uh, a lead guitar, um, but not much more than that. I made a point to round up as close as I could the instruments and amps that ACDC would use, um, which I can show you in a minute. That's a big part of the sound. Uh, there aren't many effects pedals. Actually, are, there are no effects pedals used on Back in Black, as far as I know. Most of the groove comes from the guitars. And uh, finding the right players was a huge part of us pulling this off. This is an 8-inch deep Ludwig uh, Black Magic snare drum. Tried some different heads on it, some different tunings. I knew that I could get the sound with this drum. So Malcolm Young used uh, a Gretsch rock jet, um, which is very similar to this. This is the duo jet. He typically used the double cutaway version of this guitar. This one happens to be a 59, which is really cool. It made it really easy to get the sound. We used this into a 100 watt Marshall, and it was almost instantly the, the Malcolm sound. Angus Young used a Gibson SG. It's like his trademark. Having one of these was a great start for us. Um, we were also lucky enough to have uh, a Marshall amplifier, a 1971, which is one of the amps that Angus uses. And without any distortion pedals at all, th this amp turned up to the right volume, which is pretty much almost all the way up, is the Angus Young sound. <laughs> 